So you might notice that I did change the name of my talk, and that was for a couple reasons. So I'm actually speaking a l about um, Big E MDM, and the reason I changed that is because <coughs> MDM and fun are never in the same sentence. So given that this is 5 o'clock at the end of the day, you guys have been sitting in sessions like I have all day, I thought we needed a little fun. Um, the second reason was actually a more serious note, and that's that we don't always tie MDM back to identity, which is really um, one of its core purposes. Um, we don't always connect those. And actually, a uh, blogger that I follow made a comment saying, uh, do you have a single identity? And it was pointing back to his blog, making a case about um, the importance of MDM. And I kind of, you know, I snicked. I uh, laughed a little bit and I replied back to him that, uh, no, I don't, and I do that just to confuse people. And he didn't find that very funny at first, <laughs> um, but it really highlights um, the need for this identity management concept associated with MDM. Okay, so if David Lotion is here, I absolutely want to give you a huge thank you. Um, for this quote, because this has been a very key quote that I have taken to my management in supporting our enterprise MDM efforts. And it's really that there is such a cross-functional um, cross need for enterprise MDM. So you might be working in these silos of subject areas like vendor or customer, but once you uh, find a need where maybe you need to um, look and connect the dots, maybe from research all the way to sales and marketing, then you'll find out that you have something that's at a higher level, at a party level, that you really need to manage, and that has to come up to an enterprise or a big E MDM uh, side. So what's the difference between big E and little e? Because I heard a lot of conversations around, um, yes, we have an enterprise MDM solution, and when I would question that, they said, I said, what is that? What are you doing? And they would say, customer. And I said, well, who cares outside of sales and marketing? And they would say, well, nobody. And I said, well, what are you doing about the fact that maybe a customer is a potential customer or maybe they're not even a customer. They're, they're someone you're looking at as a thought leader. How do you manage that kind of data? And there were sort of like crickets chirping in the background. And I said, oh, oh. so we've, we've touched on something important here. So when I say big EMDM, I'm really talking about that high-level cross-enterprise, the big E, the entire company, kind of data that has to stretch from your very earliest, whether that's your research area, all the way to your sales and marketing areas. Um, it also, one of the things that big E comes with is it does come with a price. So it's not free. You do have a lot of communication. You do have a lot of politics that come with big E. But it can be worthwhile if you have to do something like we had to do um, where we needed to connect collaborators and potential contacts all the way across um, once somebody was hired or whether it was a vendor relationship. And we really needed to connect the entire stream of data. It can be very valuable. How am I doing? All right. a minute left. Well, actually, my last slide was just um, really if you want to think more or talk more about um, Biggie MDM, there's a blog, there are lots of blogs actually on Dataversity, they're great, that do talk about MDM. Um, I do rant on there once in a while. I've got a session coming up and also on Twitter, or you can follow the hash MDM for a lot more information on MDM. Okay. I made it. Thank you. <laughs> you made it.